Jim Son is here with today's FanDuel Hurry Up, talking about positional battles in training camp with big fantasy football implications. And the big one to me is the Bears quarterbacking situation because it is hard to find rushing quarterbacks going late in drafts right now. The one exception could be Justin Fields. Now, Matt Nagy has maintained he wants to start Andy Dalton to open the year. If he budges on that, we could get Fields at the quarterback 16 and have a guy with a boatload of upside. So I want to keep an eye on the news here and see if Fields is making strides to potentially start early on. And if he does, I will happily target him in the later rounds and drafts. As far as running backs go, there aren't many situations better than the 49ers running backs because they have a great offensive line and great pass catchers, which should lead to a lot of touchdown equity and a rush-heavy offense. We just don't know right now who will win this battle. Right now, my money is on Trey Sermon. He is the RB26. Raheem Moser is the RB29. I currently do want to target Trey Sermon. I've got him 10 spots above his current ADP. But if we start to get news that Mostert will be the early down back for this team, I will happily react and start to take Mostert as well. Both these guys are talented runners who would benefit from this great system, so whoever starts to pull away is going to be a target for me in the middle rounds of these drafts. The Jets running back situation isn't nearly as obvious or as good as the 49ers. But it's kind of sneakily underrated. They have upgraded their offensive line with Elijah Vera Tucker and Morgan Moses now in town. They've also got better pass catchers, which should give the team more touchdown opportunities. We just don't know who will benefit from this improved system with the New York Jets. Right now, Michael Carter is the RB31 in ADP. I've got him as my RB34, which means I'm not currently getting him where he is going. But if we get news that Carter will be the lead back for this Jets team, I will happily react and try to be aggressive with him and get to him. I want a cheap starter on a team that I think is a bit underrated heading into this year. So I think the Jets are a big team to monitor, whether it be Tevin Coleman, Michael Carter, or anyone else. That'll do it for today's FanDuel Hurry Up with some big training camp battles to monitor. We'll be back once again next week for more FanDuel Hurry Up to get you set for the 2021 NFL season. (laughs) 